Hello again. Right, okay, so here we go. I've decided I'm going to put three different colours in. Like I've said before, these are all the cheap, cheapy ones. There's a sky blue masood or something, and a baby blue, and just a normal blue. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I've mixed up my resin. Oh, well over what I needed, I do believe. Look. <laughs> not very good at judging um, amounts. Right, I'm going to stick that in there. I'm going to try it a different way because usually I put the mica powder in first. But I saw somebody do it this way. It's got glitter in it, don't want glitter in that one. Sorry, I don't want glitter in it. Um, I saw somebody do it this way because they turned around and said that you've got to be careful with the mica powders. Uh, you can see, I think. Yeah, you can still see. Um, you've got to be careful with the mica powders because, as I said uh, in one of my other videos, it lumps, it goes all clumpy. So the best, they said the best way to do it is to do it this way. As I said, sometimes I do it this way, I mix it, goes everywhere. Hope it doesn't because I've got a white t-shirt on. <laughs> so all I'm going to do, because I want it opaque, I'm going to put that in there. That's in the first one. And then... My baby blue in there, and then my blue. In there. I know this isn't enough to do all of them, so what I'm going to do, because that's the base, I will probably maybe just do, I don't know actually, I haven't really thought this through, have I? Um, not sure how I'm doing this yet. I don't know whether I want to do it so it's like a uh, uh, ring pour or uh, an outer in pour. I'm not sure, not quite sure how I want to do it. Um, shut that dog. Sorry, that's my dog. She likes to sit in the kitchen, the other side of the kitchen that is, uh, with me. And I haven't got my mask on, but I did when I mixed up. Um, and I have got my back door open, my dining room door open, and my two kitchen windows open so I and I have also got my air purifier on so I have got a lot going okay so that's the blue it looks quite clear what I call clear I don't know what they call it I can never remember all the names so um, find another and I'm being crafty. A lot of people in the summer you eat lollipops. So what did I do? When I had lollipops, my grandkids had lollipops, I saved the sticks, shoved them in the dishwasher, clean as a die, ready for using. Right, so let's put a bit more powder in there. Leave that stick in there for a minute. And because I've got a lot made up, I can't be too long because it will heat up. And this stuff, once it heats up, it goes off very, very fast. Yet again, I'm using the German resin. 
um, it's a two to one as you can see it's it's not a thick resin um, don't very often use a thick resin uh, I find I like the thinner ones because they seem to spread a lot easier and I'm impatient basically <laughs> I don't like all the bubbles and everything else that comes with it all so I just impatient it seems to mix in better this way I think you just got to be careful you don't splatter it everywhere like I do um, another, another stick out my little pop. Put some more in of this because this is very clear very very clear that there I'm sorry, singing. <laughs> oh, and that camera as well. I'm rude. Sorry. Right, that would do. That would do for that one. And then it's the darker blue. Right, let's chuck that hole in there. Don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. I hope you're having nice weather like we are today. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm in the UK. <laughs> it's barbecue weather for us. Apparently this is going to last near enough till Thursday, I think it is. And then it goes all grey and horrible again. Good old British weather. You can never tell whether it's going to be nice or not. Right. I'm going to start. Oh, look, I've dropped some on there. I'm going to start by, I'm going to do a pour like this, a puddle pour, so that, that one, and that will be that one, the looks of it, this is a new mould by the way, I've never used it, never used it at all, um, let's have a bit more in that one. Okay, so then we're going to go, hopefully I'm in frame with you lot, we're going for the light one. Because there's lots of different blues, I suppose, you know, I'm just sort of like saying, well, these are where the blues go. It's up to you, what you do, me dear, when it comes to be dark, so that is. And then we're going to use this one. I have not got a clue what this is going to turn out like. Hopefully, it won't look too bad. Because I've got quite a few of these to make, all different colours. She's going to, have to let me know what colours she's got as well. Right, okay, so that looks like they're full up. I don't know how full you can make these, but I don't want to overfill them because they've got little. Oh, I ain't got gloves on. Oh, naughty me, I ain't got gloves on. It's a good job I don't get affected so much about with the resin when it comes to my hands. Take my hands off. my hands off. Let me get some gloves out. There's me telling you to make sure you put all your PPE on and there's me forgetting. So 
terrible. Absolutely terrible. Got them on now, look. I'm getting them on. Right, also I've found that these are small because I've only got lip lands. And they can be a pain in the backside to get on. So it might be worth buying medium if you've got small hands and large if you've got medium hands. Right, so that's that. Let's fill them pots up again so I know I've still got the same colours. One. That one up. And fill that one up. Shut up, Paul. Silly, Billy. Right, okay. Right, I'll put some more in. Quite a bit in, I think, because it's just needed extra last time, didn't it? Don't splat it everywhere. Silly Billy. And there's that one. Okay. Let's stir these in. Oh. Oh, foof. Oh, foofity foof. Oh, I'm so stupid. I think I'll notice that bit. Hopefully. Hopefully. Right, so what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to do it slightly different, I think. Now let's start, baby. nothing you're barking at. There's nobody outside. Blowing in. Right, so that's that one. It smells like someone's having a barbie. Oh, I've got washing out. Annoying when you live on an estate around other houses, especially in weather like this. People like getting their washing out, but at the same time, people like to have a barbecue. Right, my clothes don't smell of it. One. I'm just going to go around the edges, I think. Ooh, see what I mean, look? I hadn't mixed it in properly, so I'll add a little bit more in there just to mix that in. See, look, it's all come out here as blobs. Me being impatient, as always. Good job it's for my daughter. Mix that bit in there like that. Okay. 
in that out in a minute. Now I shall do the do the light one last, I think, because it's going to get lost. I think it's because it has in them ones a little bit. So let's just chuck this in, pull it back. Not sure about doing it like the way they do it. It's not really stirring it so well. What I might do is not to cover it uh, topped up enough. So what I might do is add some clear. I think that's topped top. top. Like enough. You can see where these have not mixed in enough. How annoying is that? Oh, can't get it. I wonder how it's going to turn out. So I am going to put my hands off and I'm going to push it. Do you have any bubbles? I don't want no bubbles. Do it with a long neck lighter, and you know you're not going to burn the mould. And I also oops, done it again. Get too close. I don't think I've got my flame up high enough. So I am going to bring that back down like that. Doesn't look out of place. Give it a quick spritz. Okay. And there you go. Now that's got to cure 48 hours because I've noticed that these are not curing as quickly as they um, some others that I've used. So just put the lids on, otherwise I will knock that fly in. You know what I am like. I'm not sure where to put anything. I've overfilled my table, I think. Let me put these away. Hey, that's done that little line. I don't know if you can see it. Let me bring you down. Oh. Hello everybody. I'm back again. It's now been about three or four days I've left this set in to make sure it's good and cured. So let's have a look shall we? I'll start with this one first. 
um, this is I think the back I've never put this together so I haven't got a clue what it's going to look like how it goes together or anything I shall take that out very carefully I've overfilled a little bit on that one by the looks of it but that's fine I just a pin hole well it doesn't look much difference either side so that's fine this one oh got a bit of overflow <laughs> another bit of overflow that's fine Oh jeez, it's hot today. I am melting. I've not long been in from work. And oh, it's just terrible. Back door's open, everything else is open. It's still making me melt. Here comes another piece. So I think these are the sides. Now I know these have actually overflowed because I can see it on this bit here. You can see there, so I'll just get an exacto knife and just cut that off and trim the sides down. So it won't be no biggie. Now for the big boy. Yeah, that one's got a bit of overflow. I get a bit excited pouring the stuff in, so I end up overflowing a lot of it. You see where these dots are? This is where I haven't marked, uh, stirred in the mic pro properly. So just remember, make sure you stir it all in nicely, otherwise you're gonna end up with blobs like that. Now it's for my daughter, so she's not gonna go, ma'am. But there you go, and that's the other side. You can see the, the mica powder even better there. Um, you should be able to anyway. There, see? So, and on the dark bit up here as well there's some there as well but then there you go there's quite a bit of overfill on that so i need to trim all that off i'm not going to sand it off i'm gonna get my well I'll try my exact toner if, if not i will get my dremel out and do it but then i suppose that goes to there she says hmm Maybe not. Let's try that way. Uh, that goes in there. <sighs> that doesn't fit. <laughs> Look, it doesn't fit. Oh, that's jolly, isn't it? Oh, yes, it does. It's just me being a, a wally. So that will go on that one. And then this one. As I said, this one's got the overfill on it, so it won't go on properly anyway. But that will go on there. And then the back will go that way. Oh, in, in there and in there. So I would do probably the back first and then do the sides on it. So if you put the back on, if I can, more fingers and thumbs. Like that. I don't know what these little dots are for, but I'm not going to worry too much about them. It's a little bit bent, but that's fine. I'm not bothered. As I said, it's for my daughter, and I'm sure she's not going to have a right old moan about it. Uh, oh, that way, isn't it? So that will go there, that will go there. Job. I'm not a man and I'm trying to be a builder. <laughs> I'll never survive. That one on there. And then this is the one which has got the overfill. So it won't go on at all basically. Because it's overfilled on the on that bit there, the juts out and the hole that it sits in. So basically that would sit in there like that. And there you go, you got one paper tray. I will gradually, my daughter says she's got literally every single you, colour you can think of. So that's blue. I will make, oh, it is very wobbly there. <laughs> You'd get quite seasick if, you, if that was all right. 
don't know why that is, unless it's the mould. Might be the mould. Don't know. It's a brand new mould though. I don't know. Yeah, might be. Just looks like it's the mould. It doesn't matter though, as I said, it's it's I've bought this basically so I can make these up for my daughter. Gradually build it all up so she's got somewhere to put her bits. I might even decide to do some myself. So I will actually keep like my mica powders or my um, some different moulds or, you know, d d different bits and pieces, all keep them all together. I mean, at the moment, I have got two, three massive drawers and underneath my um, island here. And it's absolutely chock-a-block, all of it. So I really need to sort something out. <laughs> I can't keep using a drawer just for all my micas. So, but yeah, and what I will do, I will end up um, putting a bit of UV resin in there and stick them that way. So that once they're in, they won't go nowhere. Because the last thing you want is not to actually glue it together and somebody go pick it up and the whole thing go flying. So I will glue them together so it's all nice and neat and that. And then basically the next one, as you can see, it has got the, like the dip here. I don't know if you can see that properly. Um, this dip here like this and there you go like this, this dip here and then the next tray would just sit on top like that and you just stack them so I thought they were the price of these that I've seen so much cheaper and more fun to do it this way longer taking but I think more fun so yeah so there you go then I hope you've enjoyed that um, I will probably put a picture up at the end of it. That is really wobbly. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn it that way. Oh, that's nice and smooth. Maybe I'll turn it that way. She won't know it is. <laughs> but I will put a picture up once I've I've made a few of them and stacked them and things. Um, because you've just basically seen what they're going to look like anyway. But yeah, so thank you very much for being with me i hope you've enjoyed it i've enjoyed showing you how to do this it's been an adventure for me and i look forward to doing a, another video with you bye